from the murmurations individually to the headless chicken. Today we're going to take you through the 15 most strange animal phenomena that happened on earth. The garter snakes. Memphians were shocked on January 15, 1877 when they found unusual objects falling from the sky during a heavy downpour. Umbrellas were of little use in mitigating the thousands of foot long garter snakes that fell to earth, most of them still alive. In investigating this phenomenon, Scientific American magazine explored how such a large number of snakes could have existed in such proximity and postulated that they were probably swept up by a hurricane and drifted through the atmosphere. Imagine being in the city and experiencing snakes raining down from the sky. What course of action would you take? Monarch Butterfly Migration Most monarchs living east of the Rocky Mountains embark on a journey to a specific region in the central mountains of Mexico. The migration pattern of the monarch butterfly is a remarkable spectacle. This journey is undertaken by approximately 100 to 150 million butterflies each fall, with the monarchs residing in these overwintering sites until the following spring when they return north. The timing of this migration is thought to be influenced by the changing duration of daylight that occurs during this time of year. The fluctuations in temperature between day and night during late August and September also contribute to the monarch's migration to Mexico. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, several parts of Africa were already dealing with an impending disaster, a plague in the form of a locust outbreak. This infestation was the largest some countries had experienced in seven decades. Just when these countries thought the worst was over, a second wave nearly 20 times the size of the first has arrived. Billions of young locusts are flying into these areas from Somalia in search of vegetation that sprouted because of seasonal rains. The United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization has called this outbreak a severe threat to both food security and livelihoods, attributing the incident partly to climate change. It's an unprecedented disaster that poses serious challenges to the affected regions. If this sounds weird to you, wait until you see the next ones. Vardu Island, located in the Maldives, is famous for its mesmerizing sea of stars that features a stunning neon blue glow within its waters at night. The brilliance of the water is due to a special phytoplankton called dinoflagellates, which react to oxygen under the water. This reaction prompts the phytoplankton to emit a blue light that appears like stars within the water. Consequently, the tiny phytoplankton in the water makes it seem like there is a captivating display of stars happening within its depths. Picture this, it's New Year's Eve in the icy heart of Norway. The air is filled with the joyous songs of celebration, laughter echoing in the nights, and glasses clinking in a toast to the new year. Amidst all this merriment, a peculiar event unfolds. From the icy depths of the sea, a vast school of fish decided they couldn't be spectators any longer. They wanted in on the celebrations, resulting in a spectacle that would baffle and bewilder the townsfolk. A staggering 20 tons of fish beached themselves along the pristine coast of northern Norway, painting an unusual picture against the festive backdrop. But here's where things take a strange turn. Before any official could even start a count, let alone plan a cleanup, the fish inexplicably disappeared, vanished without a trace, as if they had never been there at all. What could have led to such a surreal occurrence? What made this colossal amount of fish, presumed dead, just disappear into thin air? To this day, the mystery remains, adding another layer to the enigma that is our natural world. In March 2018, roughly 150 short-finned pilot whales deliberately beached themselves at Hamlin Bay, a site around 200 miles south of Perth on Australia's western coast. Despite the efforts of trained personnel and volunteers, only six of the whales were successfully returned to the ocean. Their survival is uncertain. These stranded whales may repeat the same behavior, and as night falls, tracking their movements becomes more difficult. This region of Western Australia has witnessed multiple incidents of mass whale strandings, including 80 long-finned pilot whales on the same day, a decade ago at the same site, and about 20 long-finned pilot whales washing up near Bunbury, 70 miles to the north, around three years earlier. These incidents are tiny compared to the largest mass stranding ever recorded in the region. European starlings look like your everyday blackbird, but their sheer numbers can turn peaceful backyards into a feathery frenzy, much to the chagrin of gardeners and farmers. Picture this, thousands of starlings swirling in the sky, moving as one in a mesmerizing dance that defies nature and captures pure beauty. It's like watching an avian ballet in the sky. In the 1930s, ornithologist Edmund Sellers believed these starlings could communicate telepathically, coordinating their movements to create these breathtaking spectacles. Imagine telepathic starlings, from blackbird doppelgangers to mind-linking maestros. 
the starlings are full of surprises. In 2010, Pakistani cities and villages were devastated by a week-long deluge that unleashed 10 years worth of rainfall. An unexpected consequence of the flooding was that millions of spiders climbed up trees to avoid the rising waters. The flooding was so extensive and the water took such a long time to recede that many of the trees became enmeshed in cobwebs. The spiders' silk transformed the trees into eerie cocoons, creating a phenomenon that had never been seen before. While grazing or resting, cows and bulls have been observed aligning their bodies in a north-south direction, and a group of German scientists have studied this behavior. They found that the Earth's magnetic fields may influence the behavior of these animals, as Earth itself can be viewed as a giant magnet, with its magnetic north and south close to the geographical poles. Just as birds and salmon use the Earth's magnetic fields during migration, some mammals, including bats, also use magnetic compasses to navigate according to a few studies. Hamburg a picturesque port city teeming with media and book publishers has recently been the site of an appalling natural occurrence known as Germany's bursting toads. Over a thousand greenish-brown toads in the city have swollen to nearly four times their normal size before bursting apart. The graphic display of entrails and body parts scattering several feet into the air has unsettled the community, and the formerly serene lake has been dubbed the Pond of Death. Authorities have commenced an investigation and are closely examining the area. Very weird, right? But believe me, number one will leave you speechless. In 2012, the entire town in Arkansas experienced a peculiar phenomenon known as the raining birds. The town was bombarded with over 5,000 dead blackbirds in the early hours of New Year's Day, causing a stir among the locals. What's even more extraordinary is that this wasn't the first time that it's happened. It was the second occurrence of such an event. While it's unclear whether it's happened again, if it did, one can only imagine the reaction of the townspeople. Birds that cry hawk. In the Kalahari Desert, the fork-tailed drongo is known for its warning cry that alerts other creatures or predators in the area. However, researchers have found that this songbird is actually a deceitful liar in the animal kingdom. While drongos normally hunt insects in midair using their impressive aerial abilities, they sometimes resort to thievery when food is scarce. Despite its dishonesty, the drongo remains a watchful sentinel in the desert, always on the lookout for danger. Monkey Invasion The economic paralysis caused by the coronavirus crisis has resulted in populations being locked down and tourists staying home leading to wildlife encroaching into urban areas that were previously off-limits. Though wild goats in North Wales appear to be enjoying their newly acquired territories, monkeys in Lamburi, Thailand seem hungry and lacking human company. While images of animals roaming deserted streets may seem cute or fun, they serve as a stark illustration of the pandemic's impact and a reminder of the interconnectedness between humans and animals. Every spring and fall, the North Sea snake dens in Canada become the site of the world's largest congregation of snakes. This area is typically known for its pristine lakes, political tolerance, gentle manners, and free-flowing apologies. And it's not exactly what one would expect to be a teeming ground for snakes lurking just below the surface. However, for one to three weeks in a specific spot along Highway 17, tens of thousands of red-sided garter snakes emerge from fissures in the limestone in search of mates. Converging in the rocky pits, they weave together in vast living, moving tapestries of snakes up to 20 feet across the draw visitors from across the world. Red Crab Migration Located in the Indian Ocean off the northwestern coast of Australia, Christmas Island, estimated to be home to around 50 million red crabs, is the site of a remarkable natural phenomenon. As the wet season begins in October and December, adult crabs leave their burrows in the dense jungle and venture to the beach to lay their eggs. Male crabs dip into the ocean and dig burrows in the sand which they protect from other crabs while they mate with females. Meanwhile, the females remain with their eggs before starting their journey back home. After two to three weeks, they put their eggs into the ocean while the larvae hatch into the water. In 1945, a farmer named Lloyd Olson was preparing dinner for his family and decided to slaughter one of his chickens. He beheaded the chicken, but to his surprise, the chicken continued to live. The headless chicken, later named Mike by the family, managed to walk around the farm and refused to become the family's supper. The family found a way to keep Mike alive by using an eyedropper to feed and water him through his neck hole. They soon began showcasing Mike as a headless chicken, taking him on the road to display him to others. Scientists at the University of Utah later examined Mike and found that Olsen had just missed cutting Mike's brainstem, which allowed the chicken to continue moving and walking, even without its head. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.